This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back, back here with another episode of Aegis of Earth, the Proto Novus Assault. In the last episode, <coughs> we uh, we complete, uh, completed uh, Washington, D.C.'s USWs, and we were proud of it. Then we found out that alienite around the world has been becoming either scarce or dormant. So apparently we are the only ones who have good alienite because we're awesome. We are our good breed. And uh, we have to take in more residents now because we're one of the few cities that are working properly. And we continue to build and take in residents as we figure out how to get past this crisis. At the end of the last episode, I was doing that one special mission about Tycho and see if anything happened with it. Answer is no, nothing happened at all. Yeah. Kind of a disappointment, no special scene or dialogue with her, no unlocked skill. It was just another request like everything else in this game. So that's a bit of a disappointment. So yeah, nothing to show. So all right, let's uh, collect the last dandelion here. Uh, oh, right, need more resin. Collect the dandelion here and then get on with the next uh, step of the plot. And I grind up a bit more money. I'm going to start spending it here soon, but I'm going to hold off for a bit until, uh, until we get to that point. Um, yeah, just fighting some of the old battles off screen in, in towns that haven't upgraded yet, so nothing challenging there. So really nothing to show for it. I think we may have, other than like the last like one or two like little mini bosses, I think we've seen like everything, all variations that the that the game has to offer there. Man, that, the game was glitching for a second. I didn't know to go to the next cutscene. It was like, ah. Okay, we've reached our target figures for refugee intake here in the city, everyone. Phew, at least. Good job, everyone. Yeah. yeah, we're on a roll, guys. Let's keep this up. Right. Yeah, she knows right. Let's try to keep the momentum going, crew. Come to think of it. Oh, I just remembered. I thought of something earlier when we were talking about you being over the hill, Toa. Hmm. Seriously, 25 is not over the hill. In, in modern day, a lot of people are fans of the older ladies, if you know what I mean. You know, starts with a cat, older cat, rare. You know, just saying. Anyway, yeah, you're never too old over the hill, at least modern day. I mean, even for some guys, so don't. <laughs> anyway, what does that have to do with anything we're talking about? And do we have to keep going back to that? Yeah, sometimes, I swear, and I don't think it's the translators. I think it's just Japanese mentality. Sometimes they just harp on, like, a gag or a joke, like, multiple times. Or they keep going with it. At some point, you're just like, okay, we've heard it already. Calm down. It's like Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is an okay game. Got boring for me after a while, unfortunately. You'd think a game with giant mechs would be like that, but uh, there's this one running gag where the where one of the female characters wants to eat. Uh, oh, I forgot his name. It's he's basically a merchant little like creature dude, and the character's always like, "I'm gonna eat you," and he's like, "No, don't eat me." And that joke goes on and on throughout the whole game, and it, I got sick of it after a while. I was like, "Shut up." Anyway, sorry, we're playing this game now. Oh, I'm sorry, Toe. It just made me wonder about you. Shino, have you got a boyfriend or anything? Um, uh, uh, no, not me. I'm pretty much married to my job, you know? I mean, uh, I uh, forget it. Say hey! Hey, nothing wrong with being... If, if you want to focus on your career, just don't forget about the other things in life if, if you do that. Hmm, you don't sound all too happy about your current status. Uh... Shino, you're on, you're on our team, too. Hey, now! Your team? I, I don't know what... Uh, not no one's team. You're, why are you so happy we about it? it? Welcome to the sisterhood of Spinsters, huh? Hmm. I, I don't know what you're talking about, trying to say, but I don't like the sound Got of it. it. It's a lot more fun than you might think, Shino. Now come on over to our side. Come, come. One of us. One of us. Weeble gobble. Weeble gobble. I, I'm not that kind of person who goes for that girly sorority okay, stuff. Okay. Oh, you're like one of the guys kind of girl. I see. Someone who can talk dirtier than a pirate who has more fun hanging out with guys and girls? Ah, come on! Raunchy talk is not really my thing at all, seriously. <laughs> wow, I don't think I've ever seen you get that upset before, Shino. Sorry if we pushed you too far. Yeah, sorry. How about I make it up to you by registering you on a dating site? <laughs> God, just won't let up. I know a really good really? one. How can you have dating sites in a world where the, where the world is constantly being attacked by monsters and other such things? I guess you can't forget about, like, pleasantries in a world like this, but I don't know, it just seems kind of inane to me. If if I, if I it was that great, wouldn't you be married by now? <gasps> I, I, uh, I think that blow was fatal, Shino. You know? sad. This site's great, right? Then how come I'm not married? It's my fault. It's all my fault. Now, sometimes some sites, all they do is just, just 
take algorithms and they think it's going to work and that doesn't sometimes people don't always know what they want you know what i mean it's kind of weird to say that oh, why was i ever born sorry world sorry crew sorry for being sorry thank you good night what are you going stage right or are you going to kill yourself D don't do it toa ah she's totally lost it uh let's let's focus on the things we actually can do something about okay for the next batch of reviews i suggest <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in, uh, whether whether I, whether all or whatever. <sighs> Some more. Uh, let's see what cities was it? I think I got a couple from a, some of those cities. Let's see what did it say again. It was um, uh, Norwitzk and Mitaka. I think I have a couple in Mitaka already, so I might be able to get that one already. Let's look. I think I had like two or three saved from that one, so I think. Maybe if I take both of them at once, it'll be fine. Because it said, let's see, what's the what's the thing say again? It says, except two dandelion dockings. So, so if I do all three of them, it'd be fine, right? I hope so. Oh, I need more. Uh, need more power. Oh, oh. Or uh, not more power. More. Uh, yeah, more of this stuff. Anyway. I'll we'll just grab a tank and roll that. There, let's just do that one. That one seems. Is that enough? There's a dandelion holding just outside. No, I need I need one more. There's a Oh, I don't one more. God, just too many too many residents, man. Well it's it's a resource game at some point, isn't it? I what? Oh come on! Ugh. A bit more. You can I can probably survive with using a pure. Although I don't want to use too many because some of the big the stuff at the end requires a. Wait, what? But I just. Oh, I didn't actually do it. God, what's wrong with me today? I'm not paying attention. Sorry, sir. I wasn't paying attention. And that's three. That should count, right? That better count. Commander, we need to build. Okay, good, it does. I think Norliscori had one, I think, maybe? Let me check that one real quick. Or it might have had two, I didn't, uh... Actually, what are the missions for this one? Oh yeah, there's another personal strike mission for Monolay, but you don't get, you don't, I mean, obviously you want to do it for the rewards, but that's it, there's no... Oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to do a mission here yet either, I want to... Okay, I think that's one. That was like enough for... So I'll have to do a mission. Uh, yeah, that's one. So we'll have to do a mission before we uh, before we do that. I need. A, I forgot to check on some of the happiness levels. I think DC. Well, I could probably do one more DC and they'd be fine. Okay. But yeah, some of the DC levels have been lowering, and the cost to like raise the happiness without actually fighting there is ridiculous. It's like twenty grand or something like that, and it only raises it like eight percent or something like that. So I'll need to do off screen. I'll have to do some. Uh, um, uh, uh, fights there, just off screen, just to raise the happiness level or whatever. Uh, might as well just do a, might as well do a strike mission, uh, a strike requests, get money, blue and green. Oh wait, before I do that, hold on, let me make sure Norwitz is built the way I wanted to. I've noticed. Let's see. Okay, that's a three stack right there. I've been trying to. Um, let's see, I'll just make another one there, I guess. You want to develop this bit? Yes. Okay, okay I want to move. Nope, stop, stop it. Okay, I'm going to move you. Where do you want to move it to? Over okay. here. Okay. You. Where do you want to move it to? Over there. I don't know if that's the best spot. Okay. I'm trying to do where I can get, like, basically a missile barrage on each side. That's probably not the most effective one. Probably most effective is getting them, like, kind of here in the center, like I have in, uh, the Kimberly, because I found out the range on them isn't completely across the board down the middle here. Like it's, it hits like a bit of this spot here, so it doesn't directly hit the center here. It hits like the next spot here. So maybe building four section of the missiles like this is probably the best way to protect your town without having to worry about it. But I don't want to do too much moving around now. Uh, I might do that off screen or maybe grind some uh, more stuff to uh, just make it even or whatever. But I'm doing this to basically cover most of the map when enemies are occurred. So basically I can just wait for enemies to show up 
And then there you go, boom. Maybe on harder difficulties or settings it'll be a bit yep. more dangerous, but although we are still playing on normal mode and not easy or anything with that. So I don't even know how hard doing a, that would be. Oh, I forgot to buy some more. Uh, nah, whatever. I forgot to buy more shields, but. Yeah, from what I've been seeing, it's not... I barely have to move the missiles if I have a certain build, so I, I should be fine. But, and we've got, like, weapons on each side already of, of every section, so... Be oh, well, when it actually hits... There we go. When, when the missiles actually hit... Because, yeah, the problem with missiles is they don't hit everyone. They'll uh, miss, like, uh, like... They'll slow you in. Sometimes they'll just move right past the missile. If they stand still, they'll hit. And those uh, fast creatures, yeah, like these, uh, will get missed quite easily by the missiles. So it's not it's not perfect strategy. You still need the other weapons, but but I've noticed missiles still do the most damage. You know. Okay. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, so I wouldn't say it's the best strategy, but I don't know. It's worked for the most part more effectively than I expected it to, you know. And with certain weapons already on my build, I can, I can, um, the, uh, But yeah, with some weapons already built in my repertoire too, it, it kind of works um, without having to do too much modification. Oh, did I not? Huh. Oh, shit. Oh, oops. Let's get that guy in there. Yeah, I kind of found this out by just watching miss. If I max up missiles, they do quite a bit of damage, you know. That would hardly... Without, with hardly doing anything, the missiles would kill a lot of groups without me touching them, you know. That's probably why I like spreading out, like, cannons and Gatlin missiles also in between uh, um, certain enemy unit builds, too, so that way it could... That way, if my missiles can't get them, I have some missiles that are cannons or Gatlins in between or close by to, uh, to take care of them, too, so... Yeah, not too bad. I'm not scrambling as much as I used to at mi certain missions. Now that we can actively uh, fix uh, uh, quarantine areas now by just uh, paying to. Uh oh yeah, I gotta rip, uh, swap barrier. Out. All right, and then we get our missile gems and money. Awesome. We can always use that. Good, great, grand. Near the yeah, at some point, usually most games like this, at some point there does at, at a at a section, despite random like random enemy hey, placement stuff like that. Uh, at some point, you do figure out that there are uh, um, oops, that's not what I mean. that you do find out a dominant strategy type of um, way to to like beat certain levels. I uh, don't know, she's still low. Actually, they're all still low. I'll leave you. I keep it monolay just in case she actually activates like a. Um, I've noticed the firearm operators; their energy goes down a lot quicker than everyone else's. Probably because they're always actively, like, being used, like during combat, like their abilities or whatever. So they have to be uh, ready to go. Captain, anyway. Please, Commander, let's make sure right. the people feel like we're. There's a dandelion in. A yeah, that's Roger. enough there. And right, that'll be the next mission. I assume the next one will be Washington, D.C., and then some other place, maybe, or something. Alright, next mission. Good thing I grinded Mataka off screen so I wouldn't have to do uh, that. You know, <laughs> at least. I was kind of I was kind of thinking that was going to happen again. That's kind of why I did that, so. Hey, good news. We hit the minimum target for refugee intake. <laughs> minimum? <laughs> That's always a bad thing to say to people. When it's a worthy task, things have a way of taking care of themselves, don't no. they? Mary Bill, can I ask you a question? Yes. Sure, what is it? Oof. Do you believe in fate and all that? Okay. 
Oh, yes, definitely. Hmm. Wait, wait, the fate when you murder someone? Out. Oh. Are you the kind of person who believes in things like taking the first step with the same foot every morning? That's right. Yes, I have some habits along those lines, but I, I thought you just had one question. That was two questions. <laughs> oh, you're just like me. Don't you see? You and I are so... Wait, where did this come from? I mean, I... You know what they say at the end of war and scenes like that of danger? I like a lot of like children and couples are formed because they've survived a, a national incident or whatever, or they feel the need to, I wouldn't say rush it, but they feel the need to like finally jump in with the next step because you never know how short life is, that type of thing. So, oh, is that so? Uh, this is going to end badly for you, Tarkov. Oh, man, I should have kept that power stone necklace so I could have given it to you. I'll phone mom and have her send it back. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not something that you probably should say to a girl that you kind of like, you know. I don't think I would want a gift you've given to someone else. And besides, your mother would be heartbroken. <laughs> Spiritual and thoughtful. I knew it. You're a goddess. Right. Seriously, where did this come from all of a sudden? Shouldn't you build this? Well, never mind. Whatever. Oh, no. I'm definitely not a goddess. I'm mortal through and through. <laughs> no, that modesty only goes to prove what a goddess you are. Do some girls really like being talked to like that? Like, where they're just the best ever type of thing? I know I wouldn't. I'm, I'm definitely not a fan of that type of praise. Ugh. It just makes me feel icky. Really, it does. Hey, hey! Hey, Maribel, stop wasting your time with this turntail. Why don't you go on a date with me instead? Oi! Oi! Man, where, why did everyone... I mean, not saying Maribel's design isn't cute. You know, I'm just saying, where did all this all of a sudden attention come from? You know, hey, all right, buddy, this is war. <laughs> oh, gosh, now what should I do? Now she, I bet she's just gonna play it out. She's like, whatever, you guys do whatever. I'll just absorb all the attention while you guys mess with each other. Wow, she's definitely avoiding giving e either of them an answer. Yeah, she's got them eating out of the palm of her hand. Exactly. <laughs> a real femme fatale. What a great role That's model. Right. Actually, I would see fem I would see uh, Mary Bell as one of those types, huh? Like, you know, Black Widow type of character. Uh, yeah, plenty to learn from her. Just look at her work, her charm. Yo. Look, Maribel, I promise not to run anymore. One date and you'll see that I'm a man of conviction. And apparently Maribel can sway heads, that's for sure. Oh, why? What should I do? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would see her pretending to, like, you could tell the inflection of her voice. Is, she's clearly being sarcastic, but not saying it. But the guys can't notice it for some weird reason. What The only thing I can promise you, Maribel, is that you are going to have the time of your life. <laughs> oh, you're very persuasive, Penrose. Dot, dot, dot. Mm. That's not right. <laughs> nah, I can sort of agree there, too. Jealous of Mary Bell Ch Jealous of Mary Bell Jealous of Mary Bell Chica? Um. No, I, I just think that the command center should be free of this kind of soapy drama. <laughs> well, what else we got in this game? I mean, seriously, the aliens aren't affecting us enough to, like, change our attitudes on them. Yeah, and besides, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, anybody being salivated over by those two. Okay. Oh, right. We're not here to observe the adventures of Turntail Tarkin Four Eyes. We've got some refugees to bring in. Understood. All right, back to work. <laughs> Three dandelions for Washington D.C. Ugh. And a strike and race. Oh, we're gonna have to raise a lot of happiness because I haven't. I've been ignoring them for quite a while. Like a real life, you know what I mean? All right. Anyway. All right. Gonna, I'm gonna have to spend some money in uh in Washington D.C. Oh. for sure. Uh, let's see. Everyone's happiness is pretty good. I'll. Maybe pay for God. Okay, last time I did a fight, it was 21, and it went down to 13. How do you figure out the percentages, game? Like, how do you know, like, when it's supposed to go down so well? Like, what what entails that, you know? Anyway, I'm just going here really quick to do some uh, um, spending on uh, um, events here. At least it's cheaper to do it here than it is in uh, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is like 23 grand. Although maybe depending on what event you do, maybe the reduction goes down less and less. I did choose to do the shopping mall what, here, so I thought it'd be more, but uh, or multi plant or was it multi plant? Yeah, multi plant, and it what, now it's t uh, well okay. You get twenty two percent. Before it was like you only give me like ten percent for twenty two grand. So anyway, I'll just do missions to raise it up, and then off screen I'll either pay or just do a ton. Okay, so we got a chance to do... Okay, now that we can do... I might just do them here. 
I don't think it cost. So it it wouldn't cost any so more to develop. do it here, would it? Okay, develop. Okay. okay. Development complete. You can so you want to develop this area? Yeah. If I, I think okay. the. the I think there's something glitchy when I try to do dialogue because I want to click through it and it like slows down and all this other stuff. So I'm wondering like the design for the the upgrading the undeveloped area. Mm -hmm. See, look at that. I keep pressing X and it doesn't go, so and then then, then it lets me do it okay. when I click that, develop. and then sometimes it'll like reset and so do you it again. And, this area? So you want to develop? Okay. Like when I press X, uh, when I press yes, I didn't actually press it. I pressed the directional pad to hit yes. So yeah, it's a bit weird. Uh, where do you want to move it to? Anyway, so we're going to move our missiles over okay. like we've been doing before. We'll have to build a couple more. I'll need to I'll figure out a good it. spot to like swap out like uh, because I haven't really been building much here, which is a bad like bad state of affairs, you know. I need to just kind of uh, where do you want to move it to? Okay. Just move them kind of it. around. Where do you want to move it to? Okay, I'll move it. I think, uh, I think the placement of that one's fine. Where do you want to move it to? Okay. All right. I'll now I should have enough money to uh, build a ton of Rex missiles or Nova missiles. I mean, yeah, it's not that expensive. And that'll be. Oh, I should have swapped to Tyco when building all this stuff just to try to get the uh, maximum efficiency. Yeah, this, this is definitely is not the best build for sure. Um, Oh well. Oops. Oh, come on. Yep. We'll see how it works. If I die on screen, I can I can handle it. Here are all the. We'll just do a week one. And then all to do so off screen, I'm gonna have to do two more dandelion things for race HE. I just want to finish an episode with some combat, just to kind of show some. Uh, just to. Okay, not perfect, but it it definitely works. Calm down, lady. Yeah, see, look at look at just how easy the missiles just like start waving on these. Oh, all my shields are gone. <laughs> I must I must have lost them in a previous fight and forgot to replenish them. Yeah, see, you still definitely want to keep uh. uh Gatlins and cannons and stuff like that because they still do damage, so it's just a uh, you know, you just gotta make sure to place them in the right spot if you're gonna do this missile strategy, you know. Like, uh, rest missiles tend to work. I mean, you could double them and do more damage, but I was just doing a single Rex missile, it kind of works now, at least on the those piddling creatures and all that. Uh, and look, we're almost done with the mission, too. See how quickly that took? Okay, so I took some, I took some stuns, but that's fine. Alright, come on, guys. Okay, well, like I said, the strategy ain't perfect. Oh well, that's fine. Two missiles. Two missiles. Sometimes it won't shoot missiles even when I need it to. You know what I mean? Maybe it's depending on if I stacked it by threes or not. Like I said, not perfect, but I don't know. Is I, I need to build a ton of shields because I think they got destroyed over over the course. But like I said, it not perfect, but it works. And it's a little. It's a lot less uh, moving around for me. No. Yeah. yeah, well done. We've had do a few. I have to do a few more missions anyway for happiness level, so might as well just do it the normal way. I need you to pick the best before. Uh, you yeah, you're fine, Mary Bell. All the guys are salivating over you anyway, so yeah. But we need to take in two more dandelions. So, all right. Well, in between episodes, I'll get the rest of the dandelions, raise happiness, and yada yada yada, and see where Aegis of Earth takes us to next. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.